kind of no better way to come back. Um, I was in really good shape all game, but on the day things were quite right for me. So the best way to kind of put things right is go back and, and kind of run the best race of your life, which pretty much what just happened. How did that unfold for you? Was there a point where you thought you just go for it? Well, I was kind of never meant to hit the front, mainly because of the way the course was, and it's kind of too dangerous always to try and take it out. Um, but the lap to go, I found myself kind of being, you know, at the front naturally, and I wasn't trying to go at all um, until I got to about to go and my coach said right now to go so that's when I started pushing big pace and then I've never gone and he told me to because he had strict instructions just to go sensibly so I didn't want to be the person that went out and got caught so I was, I was waiting and waiting then when I got the call I just tried to leg it as much as I could. Okay, yeah. Not at all, I think literally after a few days I was fine after all Gary, it was more of a shock to the system um, and the training was going so well so there wasn't actually ever an issue I think if there was an issue then yeah but my confidence the training didn't go really well, and training the best way to train, so um, in terms, it was just executing it all day, that was the main, you know, target, was executing it, because fitness-wise I'm absolutely fine, so um, no confidence, you know, just support. more confidence, yeah, definitely from training, but no uh, confidence from that cause, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I thought everyone else was going to do it, but like when you're at the front, it kind of feels a bit more dramatic because you're trying to get away from people. And particularly at the point where my coach said go, I came back around up the top of the hill again, and there was hail in my face. And I was thinking, this is the worst point to go, but I have to go now um, just to try and get a bit of a gap and just push it on. Um, and it was crazy. Like, I don't remember much because I was just so numb from running, and I definitely thought a change of pace wasn't too possible because it was so numb. Everyone asked me if he's been in the training, like I love to see training crop tops and stuff like that. So, I mean, obviously, it's a health reason why you put clothes on, you know, during training and stuff, but especially for races, like it's kind of my racing outfit. So, I only in exchange try and put on numbers these, and in general, like, put myself as a crop top girl. So, like, just, it's not my racing kit, so I kind of feel like. I'm ready to race the top of one, so I was beforehand anticipating putting on last minute uh, a long sleeve, but it looked like too much effort, so I didn't get around to the edge. How much of a mission are you on to try and make such a bigger impact on the track this year? Oh, dear. Now it's country season, I'm looking at courses thinking, oh, it's too muddy, too muddy, because suddenly well, my focus has been on the track, especially because of this year, I think. So this year I had a few good races on the track, time-wise, and then at the British Championships, but I was never, I never felt like I had that kind of big peak while I was taking championships as well, because I was still quite young, so the aim would be to like keep progressing on the track, because so much more, like my 1500 time has to change, like, in, in training is there, I just haven't raced the quick 15, and then hopefully that helps the prize okay. um, definitely, I, I, I'm a bit more now, rather than the country. I still like both, but I used to definitely want to come to the track. Um, I've got one more definite country of spots, because I'd like to represent my university, and then after that I might be playing around with indoors. So I'm not sure how it's going to look training-wise. Obviously I want to be doing strength work, I love this stuff, but I want to work my speed as well. So I'll be dipping in to do some indoors, and um, maybe one of the countries, but it's not particularly planned out yet. The main aim was to get Bulgaria out of the way, do this, clear things up, and then figure out what happens next, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.